Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Stable Diffusion locally in 2024. Stable Diffusion is a powerful AI model for generating images from text. And also, you can run it, of course, uh, on a lot of things. And of course, to run it locally, uh, will, it will allow you to harness its capabilities without relying on external services uh, or servers. So in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the steps on how to do it. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. Before we begin, let's make sure that you have everything you need. Of course, you'll need a computer with a decent GPU as Stable Diffusion requires significant computational power. Additionally, you will need Python installed on your own system. If you don't have it, make sure to download it. You can simply open whatever browser you have and basically just look for Python here at the URL section as an example. So, so here Python and simply just click type download and make sure to download it. Of course, if you don't have Python, you can simply just head up as you can see to this python.org slash download or downloads and make sure to download it it's as simple as that. And in salads, of course, what's downloaded. You will also need a Git for version control, which you can get from Git, of course, just open a new tab, so I can show you Git. So as we said, uh, to run like uh, Stable Diffusion, you need two things, Python and uh, Git. To download like Python, go to python.org slash downloads and click on it in here, download it, and then in salads, of course, uh, which I did in here, as you can see, it's in salad. And Git, you'll need to go to git dash scm.com slash download slash win if you have windows if you don't have windows just type uh, like dot uh, com and you'll find the download option just click on it and choose which one you want to download and of course if you want to download this using the win uh, gets tool you can simply do it using this code you can simply open your powershell as an example so go and open like powershell simply type the following command in here as an example, of course, like uh, once this download, like you should run it also and install it on your PC. Click on yes in here. As an example, click on next, 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 like next, of course, yeah, next. Uh, yeah, I'll just choose this. Yeah, next. And yeah, next also, next, next. Yeah, keep click on next. Of course, if you want to change anything, it's up to you to change it. For me, I'm not going to. So yeah. And as I said, to download this in here, you just go and copy this code, go to your PowerShell as an example, paste that code, click on it, uh, hit the enter button. And as you can see, it should get downloaded very, very fast. So you'll need uh, those things to start running or to uh, have everything you need, of course, for stable diffusion. Now, first, of course, you will need to set up, first of all, a virtual environment to keep our installation clean and organized. So let's just wait for all the installations to finish. For example, this is finished. This one is completely or uh, about to finish. And this one, it seems like it's finished. So I'll just have to wait for this one. So yeah, it's still downloading. It seems like it's not finished yet. So I'll just wait. Of course, make sure to have a stable connection. So everything can run very smoothly and make sure you have a good GPU uh, to run uh, like those smoothly also. Yeah, so here, click on finish as an example and I should be good to go in here. Yeah, once this finish. So as I said, uh, you will need to uh, set up some virtual environment to keep your installation clean and organized. Of course, you can start doing it by opening a terminal if you're in Linux or opening a command prompt as an example or CMD, and you will need to uh, navigate to the directory where you want to install a stable diffusion. Uh, of course, as an example, of course, I'll just go here and click on yes once this is trying to install. So I'll open CMD in here, as an example, this one. And what you'll need to do, of course, is simply this following code. So yeah, so it should be this, first of all, Python dash, of course, space dash M dash V and uh, Venv, of course, dash table diffusion uh, and V. Then, of course, you will have to do uh, the following one. As an example, this one, and hit the enter button. You'll need just to log in or sign up 
into their accounts, of course, once you go to Stable Diffusion uh, or stabilisa.ai, of course, as you can see, Stable Diffusion Medium uh, Weights are now available. You can simply click on Download now at the top in here. And you'll need, to, of course, to log in or uh, sign up into your account so you can get the repository. And basically, you'll need to clone it. You'll need to type Get Clone with the URL of the repository. Then you can simply have to access the specific like uh, file by simply, of course, the CD command. Uh, stable uh, dash diffusion and of course you can then install the required python package using pipe it's basically it's going to be pipe install dash r requirement dot text and this will download basically and install so basically it's going to be something like this so yeah just to show you and of course and this should install uh, the all the dependencies uh, needed for stable diffusion then you can start downloading the model weights of course, uh, you'll need to make a directory by mkdir or mkdir, uh, then as an example, uh, dash p models. Then, of course, move, uh, you'll need to move. So basically, I'll just paste uh, everything here to show you. For example, uh, mkmodel like this to make the directory, then you'll have to do this. After that, basically, you'll uh, this of course will replace the this with basically the actual path of your downloading weights. Then, of course, with everything set up, you can now run Stable Diffusion using the like the provided script to generate images from text. For example, as an example, you can simply use a code, something like that. So Python script, txt, so dash dash prompt, as an example, you can here type whatever you want. And as you can see, the outputs will be on a specific like directory and you should be good to go. You should be, uh, this should uh, have everything installed for you. If you get lost or something like that, and this gets that they have, and here they have all the things that you need as an example. So you can find the file structure, everything that you need, like using uh, with diffusers, uses everything that you may want, you'll find it right here. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.